So today I will be discussing the Melungeons and their Native American or more properly American Indian lineage. All right. And, you know, because, um, you know, there's a lot of controversy around the Melungeons still to this day when you research online um, most of the sources will say you know they're triracial people you know you know saying that they're part African Portuguese um, other sources get Jewish origins to them Irish Welsh you know I came across a lot of them but today we are going to um, listen to the words of what the Melungeons say and what the actual records say regarding which Indian tribe they're connected to. Now, in my previous video, I did on the Munai Negroes. Who are the Munai Negroes? You can Google that, YouTube it. Um, I went in on um, the Melungeons having the flint eyes, the blue eyes, the colored eyes. You know what I'm saying? That's one of our traits. And I also cited one source from Children's of Perdition, Melungeons and the Struggle of Mixed America by Tim Hashaw, page two, in that video that specifically, it was specifically noted um, that they were children of perdition, the unholy offspring of the devil and the Cherokee woman in Tennessee. That is key right there. Um <clears throat> because that actually ties into a myth so um and later in this video i'm gonna go through census records too but yeah so melungeons are said to descend from cherokees that's what this is really all about too all right so um and i've already shown that um you know melungeons are born with more than five digits on hands and feet you know they basically they were born with six digits and six uh, toes you know because they descend from the moon eyed Negroes they are the original um, of the of the original um, Charaki or Allegheny Mountain Indians um, by the way that's our word for Aboriginal it means old settlers all right so moving to another source um, this particular source I'm going to read comes from a, uh, a journal article titled The Melungeons, a Mixed Blood Strain of the Southern Appalachians. And uh, this is by Edward T. Price. All right. As you can see the source right there. Now, in this, he goes in on um, the Goins, a surname Goins of um, a particular uh, concentration of Melungeons in the southeastern Tennessee. All right, it's in the village of Graysville. You know, so um, I'm gonna read uh, later at the bottom part. Um, the Melungeons here are characterized by a single surname, Goins. Though, though several other names have been acquired, apparently by intermarriage. Indeed. The group is more regularly referred to by this name than by more the general term Melungeon. Some of these people are distinctively dark in color and claim Cherokee Indian ancestry. So again, um, Melungeons are claiming Cherokee ancestry. Now, when you uh, go to Wikipedia, and under Melungeons, um, which I'm about to cite something, and I wouldn't cite it if it wasn't a source. If there's no citations, I ain't finna mess with it. You understand what I'm saying? So, in this, when you scroll down, it's a part that says, um, Melungeons in Graysville, Tennessee claim Cherokee ancestors, which I just read from, and, I, and from an actual source. Now, it further says, anthropologist E. Raymond Evans wrote in 1979 regarding these claims. In Graysville, the Melungeon strongly deny their black heritage and explain their genetic differences by claiming to have had Cherokee grandmothers. And as you know, you are the mother too. So 
So we got a paternal and a maternal, however y'all want to go with it. Melungeons have a Cherokee uh, lineage. Um, and it further says, many of the local whites also claim Cherokee ancestry and appear to accept the Melungeon claim. Now that makes sense because the word Melungeon means white. Remember, that's a loan word from uh, the Portuguese, uh, from the Bantu speaking Africans that refer to pale white people as Mzungu or Malungu. So Melungeon is Malungu, which means white. All right. So when the moon eyed Negroes mixed in with other people and became extremely pale, this is where that mongoloid identity comes from. So, yeah, there is a truth to the triracial or biracial or multiracial origins of the Melungeons, but they are primarily claiming to descend from Cherokees, which is how they are getting the, the six finger and six toe trait and the moon eyed trait with the flint, light, gray, green, blue colored eyes. Now, let me move to another source. Um, oh, this is on the same Wikipedia Melungeon entry. And if you scroll down, it also goes into, well, I'll just read. According to historian Pat Elder, the earliest of these was that they were Indian, more specifically Cherokee. Jack Goins, an identified Melungeon descendant and researcher, states that the Melungeons claim to be both Indian and Portuguese. An example was Spanish Peggy Gibson, wife of Yardy Collins. Now, there's a couple surnames mentioned. Um, I probably will make another video where I can go into the actual surnames for those who are doing their Indian research, their genealogy. And, you know, I have I have Melungeon surnames within my family like Gibson right here I do so um, I will list some of them and you know either on a I'll make a video or probably somewhere on you know my somewhere on social media or my Pinterest I'll go into the surnames and I can show you them claiming Cherokee ancestry in that too and I'll it'll I'll list the surnames and you can check your family and see if the surnames match and all that so and as you can see here's a citation at the bottom you know I don't play I don't make things up um, here's another source from um, the Appalachian Journal. It's, it's, it says, well, you know, this is them speaking on it. The uh, Melungeon ancestry it says speaking anecdotally. It is our experience that these two matches often appear in test results of people claiming Cherokee ancestry. Such a correspondence might indicate that the main Native American group involved in Melungeon admixture was the Cherokees. See, but this is probable assumption for admixed whites in general. That's where the Melungeon comes in, especially in the eastern United States, since the Cherokees are the most numerous indigenous nation and descendant group today. So, again, you know, Melungeons um, are documented and claiming uh, having Cherokee lineage. Now, here's where I'm going to the census. All right. This is from the Tennessee Encyclopedia. All right. It says in 1894, the U.S. Department of the Interior, in its report of Indians tax and not tax, noted that the Melungeons in Hawkins County claim to be Cherokee of mixed blood. So, again, another another source. All right. All right and you can check that source. But um, again, I already demonstrated in my other videos that the Melungeons had six fingers, period. All right. And then I'm and then they're claiming Cherokee answer. So what, is, what am I all saying right here? I'm basically saying that um, the Melungeons have the six finger, six toe trait because they descend from the old mountain dwellers, the old original mound builder Cherokees, the original mound builders. Now, I'm reading one last source. This is from a, another census, the 1890 census. All right. In Tennessee. And it states. Um, where do I start from? The Melungeons or Melungeons in Hawkins County claim to be Cherokee of mixed blood, white, Indian and Negro. Their white blood being derived, as they assert, from English and Portuguese stock. They trace their descent primarily to two Indians, Cherokees, known one of them as Collins. That's a surname. The other as Gibson. Who settled in the mountains of Tennessee, where their descendants are now to be found. All right. 
about the time of the admission of that state into the Union. So again, um, the Belungians in the census records are documented descending from Cherokees. Uh, multiple sources in books, all right, anthropologists, ethnologists have documented the Melungeons descending from Cherokees, and the Melungeons themselves report, as was was doc as what was documented in the census, that they descend from Cherokee. So the root Indian tribe that Melungeons descend from are the Cherokees, which is what all this is about: the six-fingered, six-toed. Uh, flint eyed, colored eyed, mountain giant mountain Indians, aka the mound builders, and that's basically it. <laughs>